Okay, you're not going to believe this. Dead spiders have been turned into robots, or as I like to call them, zombies, by Rice University mechanical engineers. Well, they say they're not zombies, but... Hi there, I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this creepy story is in a new report at Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates on cool things like dead spiders moving. So, who woke up one morning and decided we need this? This is something straight out of a horror movie. I will say it again. In a new study, engineers repurposed dead spiders as mechanical grippers that can blend into natural environments while picking up objects that outweigh them. They call this research necrobotics, or the beginning of our zombie spider overlords taking over the world. Where was I? Oh, Daniel Preston of Rice, George R. Brown School of Engineering said, It happens to be the case that the spider, after it's deceased, is the Perfect architecture for small-scale, naturally-derived grippers. Oh boy, isn't that great. Well, I'm going to try and explain this as best I can. Rice engineers used wolf spiders for their necrobotics research. They were able to lift more than 130% of their own body weight and had the grippers manipulate a circuit board, move objects, and lift another spider. Boy, that's awesome. Spiders use hydraulics rather than muscles to extend their limbs. A chamber near their heads contracts to send blood to limbs, forcing them to extend. The legs contract with the flexor muscles when the pressure is relieved. That's why spiders curl up after they pass to the great beyond, because they don't have antagonistic muscle pairs like biceps and triceps in humans, and they lose their ability to actively pressurize their bodies. Well, no kidding. That's because the spider is no more. It has ceased to be. He's expired and gone to meet his maker. He's a stiff, bereft of life. He rests in peace. If you hadn't stuck him with the syringe, he'd be pushing up the daisies right now. His metabolic processes are now history. He's off the twig. He's kicked the bucket. He shuffled off his mortal coil, run down the curtain, and joined the bleeding choir invisible. This is an X spider. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, researchers say that internal valves in the spider's hydraulic chamber or prosoma allow them to control each leg individually. For the study, engineers tapped into spider's prosoma chamber with a needle, told you so, and attached it with super glue. <laughs> This just sounds a little rudimentary. Researchers connected the other end of the needle to one of the lab's test rigs, or a hand syringe, which delivered a small amount of air to activate the legs immediately. <laughs> so like this guy. <laughs> Remember Panic Pete? Okay. They say they got about a thousand open and closed cycles before the thing dehydrated and fell apart. Preston believes the necrobiotic research will turn into useful technology for use with repetitive tasks and microelectronics and things like that. Researchers say smaller spiders can carry heavier loads in comparison to their size, while larger spiders, the smaller the load it can carry in comparison to its own body weight. Even though some might be weary of this type of experiment, researchers say turning dead spiders into robots doesn't qualify as reanimation. Well, okay, so not zombies, sure. <laughs> All right. You can check out more info on this creepy study and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.